So I am so happy I have the house to myself because now I can rant. I can go in on the things that I believe in. So I'm going to do a recap of an old video because as I was going through my YouTube channel, I'm looking at my old videos. I need to change some things. Um, I need to change some things, but I also just want to update. I just want to update everybody because a lot of my old videos, the sound was horrid, man. It was, it was trash. So this is more so of a me of me reiterating some things. Um, about females, all females. Listen, man, I love females. I love, I freaking love females. But, and I'm, and I'm going to tell my daughter this. this I'm going to tell her the same thing when she gets older. I think a lot of y'all females. Need to um, y'all need to y'all need to know yourself. Y'all need to know yourself before you get in these relationship with these with these bum ass niggas. I think y'all need to know y'all so. You know I take that back. Y'all not getting in relationships with bum ass niggas. You just getting in relationship with niggas y'all really don't like. You thought you liked them. But you really don't like him. He's not really what you thought you wanted or what you thought he was going to be. And that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. But still, y'all need to know yourself. I also did a video on the three things a woman needs before she decides to get in a relationship with man with with a man. Or even another woman. The choice is yours. And one of those things was. Be happy with who you are. Love yourself. But in order to love yourself. You need to know yourself. I was talking to somebody. And they was with it. They was with a guy. And they was venting to me about this guy that they were with. And it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to me. And I'm still, I don't, I don't think I'll ever understand it, but it's what, it's what a lot of females do out here. But she was venting about how he doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. And I was just thinking to myself, so why are you with, and, and it got to that point because then she mentioned to me that even the sex isn't as good as it used to be. And obviously the sex isn't as good because you're not interested. You see, see, you so, you so facts, um, you so fixated on the things that he's not doing that the things that he does well, even that's not good enough. And so I was like, so why are you still with this dude? If he's causing this much, this, you know, this many issues with, with you. Oh, well, he takes good care of the kids. And I was just like, well, now, so now we need to figure out what really matters. Do you want a man that's willing to take care of the kids? Or do you want a man that's going to do all these other things well? And not necessarily be good at taking it. I mean, he does his part, but this it's not a strong part. You know what I mean? I, I offered that question to her. And and the response that I got was kind of like, I don't know. But it made her think. And in the coming weeks, she did make a change. Even though she now has to figure out how she could, you know, how to better, you know, she has to be more attentive to her kids now because he's not around. She's overall much, much happier. See, some women, I think, 
Here's, here's one thing about women that, that just bothers me. I, I don't understand the logic behind it. Women, I, I, or I should say, I understand the logic, but it's very contradictory in a way. Watch this. Women like known commodities. This is why women like money, because they know they can do things with money. There is nothing on this earth that you can do without money. I mean, well, there is nothing you can purchase. There's nothing you can buy without money. The only way you can get the things that you want is with money. The world has established that to the T. Now, of course, there are illegal ways of getting the things you want. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I heard you got that new Madden. So, uh, um, yo, I got about, I got about, I got about 20 grams. Let me hold, let me get that Madden. I'll give you them 20 grams. You know what I mean? It's like there are illegal ways of getting things. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro, listen. That new iPhone just came out. And my cousin is my cousin is a tattoo artist. So I was wondering, he'll give you a tattoo for free if you can hook him up with the iPhone. It there are we we know this. How many of us have bought food stamps from people? Okay, if you if you live, if you know, if I'm I'm trying not to disrespect anybody, you you know some people who've used food stamps. Let's just let's just leave it right there. You know some people who have used food stamps to to um, get some things, if you will. So, but women know the known commodity is money. And women know you. she cannot do the things that she needs to do without money. So, therefore, women are going to be more drawn to men who have money. It just is what it is. Now, are there some women who money doesn't matter to them? Maybe they make their own or maybe they come from a family where money just wasn't that big of an issue. Then, yes. Yes, by all means, those women are great and they will make your life exceedingly better. Um, But most women, most women are not about that life. So, so that's why most women will more than likely tend to gravitate towards men or even women who have money. What's the other thing women like? So women like known commodities, right? That's why when a lot of men get married, a lot of women tend to gravitate towards those men because it's a known commodity. If she married him, if his wife married him, clearly he's a good man. See, women don't like single men. What it, what it, one of the things I hear all the time I, a guy would be like, hey, I'm single. I got no kids. I have a, de-, you know, they might not make a whole lot of money, but they're they're living decently. And women be like, so what, what's, so what's the problem? Why can't you find a woman? I know a lot of times, like for me personally, I'm, I'm normally a shy guy. I'm not, I'm not going to put myself out there kind of guy. I'm not that guy. So for the longest time, I was single and a lot of women were just like, yo, what's the problem? And it's just like, I'm just not putting myself out there like that. I'm not. I There's nothing. And then, I mean, look at me. I'm not the most attractive guy out there. So I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. Now I do. And, and if things were different, they, they would be different. But um. But um, a lot of times the guys are shy. Guys don't have much confidence in themselves. And that's why they go very long time being single, even though they got everything together. But also a lot of times I've also met women, too, who are like, I need a man who's kind of been around. I don't want to I don't want to teach somebody. 
did my video okay good i don't want to teach somebody how to be a man <laughs> you know what i mean and and i get it i get it a lot of women don't want the headache of trying to teach a man how to be a man and when i say how to be a man I I mean, there are two versions of this. I'm talking about how to be a man in a relationship, not necessarily how to be a man. You know what I mean? But a lot of women have to teach men how to act and how to be in the relationship. Um, Or at least how they want their man to be in a relationship. So when what's the original point? Women like known commodities. A woman knows if you have a job, if you have your own car and you own and you have your own place, you are in a, a responsible human being. It is just no other way around it. Ninety percent of the time you are a responsible human being. The other 10 percent is the niggas whose mamas and daddies are playing for everything. Because that's it. Those it's just those it's just those two. You either are a very responsible nigga or. Or you're a very spoiled nigga. It is what it is. Now, you could be both. You could be a nigga that, that whose parents are paying for everything, but it's like, I mean, you know, I got I if I if my parents cut me off today, I'll still I'll be fine. You could be that nigga. Most niggas though, most spoiled niggas, nah. Nah. Ladies, if you meet a man. If you meet a man and he lives at now, I'm, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about like $800 rent. I'm talking like $1,500 $1, to $2,000 rent. And he wears nice clothes. He drives a nice car. There are two things. There are at least, there, there might be two things at play with this dude. Either his mama and daddy are paying for everything or he's or he's having sex with multiple women because women are attracted to him because he's a known commodity. So, going back to my original point. Know what you want, ladies. There I mean the the pickings the pickings are unfortunately slim, but know what you want. Do you want a man do you do what is the one thing you got to have in a relationship? Do you need security? Do, and and then and then what does security need? Do you need physical security or financial security? Do you need both? Does he need to be able to take care of you financially and hold you down physically? Like know what you want. Do you want a godly man? Do you want a man that's going to pray with you all the time? Do you want a man that's going to church every Sunday? Do you want a man who, who's who's going to Bible study? He's in the choir. He got choir rehearsal. He he he's on the deacon board. He he has to he has to uh he's on the usher board. He does everything at the church. Do you want do you want that man? Cuz I mean like do that if that's define what a godly man is. Define what a what being secure in your man is. Know thyself. Know what you want. Break that thing down. Do you, do you, I mean, let's be real. Do you need a man? Do you need a man with a big dick? Or do you need a man who can go all night long? Or do you need both? Because if you need both, you need to move to LA and become a porn star. Because the chances of you finding that are slim to none. He need to have a big dick and go a long time. I mean, damn, you just a selfish chick. I wanted to say the other word. I'm trying to be respectful. Like, what is it? Does he need it? Does he need to eat? Does he need to go down on you? Does he need to have good head? I'm saying he, and I know a lot of times uh, there's a lot of women out here who want to be with other women. There's a lot of trans people out here who want to be with men and women. So forgive me for not showing that respect, but I'm just, I'm speaking from a place of dealing with the women. Most of the like 90% of the women that I, 95% of the women that I deal with would want, would want a man in a relationship. So it's not a disrespect to the, to the LGBTQ plus community for me to keep saying he, 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 
um let me let me let me fix my mind to just say they for now on and if i do revert back to he please forgive me but do do you want someone that um we were talking about sex. Do they need to give good head? Like you just can't be with somebody who can't give good head. Do you need to be with somebody who wants to have sex all the time? Do you need to be with somebody who's not sexually active? Do you need somebody who's a virgin? Do you need somebody who has many partners? And speaking of the many partners stuff, ladies, stand by. Fellas. We are in 2022. Most of these women out here do not give a damn about your preferences, about how many partners they have. If you are a man and your pussy ass cannot deal with a woman who's had more than three or four or five sexual partners, you need to go somewhere and sit your punk ass down. Let me just say that. And for the women out here who are lying about your number, F them niggas. Let that nigga know that you that chick and you get what the fuck you want. One of my favorite, one of my favorite lines. Andre 3000, the love below. Old girl was like, I bet he think I, I bet he think I'm a hoe. Shoot. I liked it. And then Andre comes in. I know that she think that I think she a hoe. But I just think she enjoys the finer things in life. It is it like that is so real. Why why is it such a bad thing? Every everybody knows niggas like to have sex. Oh, niggas love to have sex. We have sex with anything with 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 ass and titty. We gonna have some sex. There are women out here who like to have sex too. And as long as you have a dick, they wanna fuck. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. I'm just saying it is a very it, it just pisses me off. I'm very passionate about that. I'm very I, 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 I would like to believe I'm a feminist at heart. But my femi- the, the reason I believe I'm a feminist, because I, I really believe in 50 and a 50 50 split. I truly and honestly believe in a 50 50 split. Anything a man can do, a woman can do too. Anything a man can be, a woman can be too. Like, I really believe the only, like, the only thing, obviously, men will never come close to doing as far as females is having a baby and having a period. That is it. That is it. And everything else, there there are niggas out there who look, Amazing. <laughs> I mean, they are fine as hell. Like these niggas are fine as hell. They got lace fronts, they face beat, they titties is on, I mean, on flex. The the body is banging and they dick is bigger than mine. I'm just saying. There's some beautiful ass niggas out here. I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but you know, it like <laughs> Anything a woman can do, a man can do, and vice versa, except for having a baby and periods. That is it. That is it. And, of course, the only thing a woman can't do that a man can do is actually impregnate a a, a female or someone of the female gender. And that's it. That is it. That is it. So, um, yeah, man, it's... It is what it is. I get it. Trust me. I get it. Um, I get it, man. I get it. But back to the original point, ladies, know what you want. Know what kind of person you want to be with. What are your deal breakers? What are your red flags? Know those things. And I promise you, you might, you might miss out on a lot of good people, but ultimately you will be happy in the end. Trust me when I say this, I'm coming from a place of love. Okay. Because I want, I love females so much. I want all females out here to find love. I really do. 
And niggas too. I want niggas to find love too. Because there's a lot of niggas that don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't believe in that love stuff. But um, yeah, man. I'm you know what? I, I know went 20 minutes and I really don't care. We're gonna call this a podcast. We're gonna call this a podcast. <laughs> but it's your boy Billy Mac. Ladies. Know what you want. Know thyself. And I promise you will be happy. Please like, subscribe, um, support the Never Alone Company. It's your boy, Billy Mac, And I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.